Hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things Plays Fallout 4. In the last episode, we delved a little bit into armor mods, and now I want to screw around a bit with some weapon mods. I grabbed every weapon that I had stored in my workshop, and now we're going to saunter on over to the weapons workbench, and we're going to take a look at what we've got here. So we've got lots of 10 millimeter pistols. These are just standard, no mods on there. Baseball bats, a calibrated pipe pistol, bayoneted calibrated pipe pistol. So what I think I'm going to do pretty much in every case is strip off all the mods of everything um, just to sort of have them, maybe scrap some of these weapons, and then pick out the weapons that Don't I do want to modify and kind of build them. my arsenal that way. Because right now it's been kind of haphazard. I have certain things. I still have this scope three crank laser mustic musket which is cool, but I don't know. It's kind of irritating. I might actually use um, my tactical powerful pipe bolt action rifle as my sort of scoped sniper rifle for now. I'll probably take off the um, glow reflex sight and put on some sort of scope, perhaps. I don't know. We'll see what we want to do here. Um, I already know I don't need these switchblades things like that. A lot of the melee weapons, I never really engage in melee. I'll probably have one melee weapon just as a backup. But for now, what do I get if I scrap these? I get steel and screws. Screws are useful. They're like, they're worth 50. Assuming the baseball bat, I get wood. Damage is 24. Calibrated pipe pistol. All right, let's wait. Wait a minute. Let's modify this. I want to get just a standard receiver. So if I do that, I have to use a screw, though. Hmm. Let's do it anyway. We have a stub barrel. Man, this is modified to heck. Um, there's no standard barrel, I guess, is there? Let's just keep that standard grip, standard magazine, standard sights, small bayonet. No muzzle. There we go. So now I'm going to scrap this guy. If I scrap him... Oops. I get... No, oh, I get a steel, huh? I was hoping for screws. Wanted some screws. They w Their value is 20. I might as well... I don't know. How much steel do I even have? Quite a bit, I'm assuming. Maybe I'll scrap some, sell some. Oops, what happened? Why are you doing that to me? Fight pistol. But even the hard days get easier. Than All right, and the rest of these pipe pistols will probably just sell pipe bolt action pistol. What do you get when you scrap that? Again, just steel. That's not exciting. Um, why is this different than this? Oh, it has a longer barrel. Interesting. What? What? Wait a minute. This said short barrel. What is this? Oh, a stub barrel. I see. Alright. Interesting. Um, not too excited about those. What can you do to the miniguns? Standard barrel. Accelerated barrel, wow. Need rank three of gun note. Tri barrel, wow. Gunner set. Oh, wow. Superior bash, inferior range. Interesting. Um, obviously. I'm not going to tow to run a minigun right now. Machete. You could do a serrated blade. That requires rank 2 of blacksmith. So a lot of these melee weapons I can't really do any mods to because I don't have the blacksmith perk. So we're out of luck there. Let me jump out of this right now. Jump into my inventory look at my weapons, sort by damage. 
So we have the fat man, obviously, at the top. Bottle cap mine, grenades, mine, Molotov cocktail. So we have my tactical powerful pipe bolt action rifle. So I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to take that glow reflex sight off and put on a scope of some sort. So that will be my long range weapon. We have the snub nose 44. That's a revolver. Very powerful, but it doesn't have a very good rate of fire. And the reload, it doesn't hold much. I'm assuming it's only six. We've got the double barreled shotgun, which is really bad in terms of, you know, reload time and such. Bayoneted pipe bolt action rifle. Pipe bolt action pistol. Short pipe bolt action rifle. Got the laser musket. I'm not too excited about that anymore. Okay, there's my 10 millimeter, which I love. 27 damage, but uh, I don't have much ammo left for that. Baseball bat. I did have a submachine gun around here somewhere. That might be a nice mid-range weapon. Where was that? Uh, got all these pipe pistols. Oh, the flare gun. Yeah, that's something that Preston gave me. Apparently, I can call in help from the Minutemen. And I guess the more settlements you get, the more people you get into the fold, you can have more help. Uh, submachine gun. So it doesn't do much damage. It takes 45 rounds, which I have a bit of. Really good fire rate, obviously. So let's see about modifying the submachine gun a little bit. Down here somewhere. There it is. So, what can we do to this baby? Standard barrel, short stock, medium magazine, standard sights, no muzzle. Armor piercing receiver. Doesn't do anything to damage, but it increases the penetration and range. Hardened receiver does do something to damage. So that requires adhesives, gear, oil, screws, steel. Can't do any other things because I don't have rank two. Rapid receiver, rate of fire, better damage, armor penetration, superior damage. Well, let's just do hardened. That'll get my damage up a little bit here. Then we shall look at the barrel. Short light barrel. Strangely enough, that doesn't ruin the accuracy if you make the barrel shorter. I guess, oh, we already have a kind of shorter barrel. Adhesives, aluminum, and screws. Cuts down on the weight. Yeah, I could do that. Let's do it. Stock here. Full stock should get the accuracy better, I would think. A little bit. Not much. And it does add quite a bit to the weight. Hmm. I think I'll just keep the short stock, because the accuracy doesn't really benefit that much. Magazines, large drum, inferior reload speed, quick eject drum. Eh. Lots of screws, springs, steel, oil. How much does it increase my... It doesn't show. Well, sir, I'm just going to keep the magazine the same for now. Sights. Improves focus and better sighted accuracy. Accuracy 65. Ooh, that goes to 71 with the reflex sight. Um, nuclear material, yada, yada, yada. Yes, we will do that. Muzzle device. Compensator. That decreases range, increases accuracy, increases weight. And a muzzle brake, exceptional recoil control, better push over inferior range. Range, wow, really gets down there. So this is kind of the mid. Let's do that. The happy medium. All right. So now we've got a pretty decent weapon here. It doesn't have a lot of damage, but it has a pretty high rate of fire. Of course, that means it's going to go through my ammo pretty quickly, but whatever. I think we'll use that. Um, in terms of my... Where is that? I can't remember what anything is called. I should probably rename some of this stuff. We have my tactical, powerful pipe bolt action rifle. This sight, I want to strip off. And I want to put on... What can I put on? A long scope. 
superior magnification and sighted accuracy. Medium scope. Better magnification. I haven't tried either of these, so I'm not really sure. Short scope. Well, let's go ahead and do the uh, long scope. This will be my long range sniper rifle. My 10 millimeter, I still love. I'm gonna keep that. Um, hopefully find some more ammo for that eventually. In terms of melee weapons, um, I got my bladed tire iron, I guess. I don't know if I could do anything else with that. Nah. No. Combat knife. All right, well, I think we've got a little bit of something to work with anyway. Some weapons that I can kind of have in, as backup. I want to get rid of some of these things and not be carrying around too much at once. So let's go back into the workstation. Just transfer to my inventory my weapons. So I've got all these 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter pistols. I need to sell some of this stuff. Got my tactical powerful. I like that. I like that a lot. Snub nose 44. That's the only thing I have that fires 44, so I might keep that on me. Store these. Store these. A lot of this stuff I should just scrap and or sell. think you know what I should I should get rid of this how much does that weigh 16 yowzes yeah I'm not a fan of this gun pipe auto pistol I didn't even realize I had a pipe auto pistol I'm gonna keep one of these and see about so what does that fire? That fires 38, and I've got a lot of 38. Hmm. Might want to look into that. Minigun. Machete. Brass knuckles. Fat man is heavy. Okay, comfort grip pipe pistol. Bayoneted pipe. Baseball bat. 10 millimeter pistol. Alright. I believe that's everything I want to keep for the moment. I do want to look into this pipe auto pistol. What can we do with this? So we've got automatic receiver. Ah, I see. Armor piercing, hardened automatic repeat. Okay, re reduce damage. What? <clears throat> so we would want a powerful automatic receiver for that. Yeah, so that's not really worth my time and or effort. It does shoot 38 though, which is nice. So there's nothing I can do to increase the damage without getting rid of my automatic abilities. Because that's the trouble with all these pipe weapons, is the bolt action. It's just very slow and cumbersome. Alright. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just... I miss him so much. You are the only person here who blathers on and on about it. But they'll get better. Do you hear me bitching about my son every two seconds? Shut up! Let's see. Bottle can Fragmentation. Babadoo. That goes 
Alright, so let's get into the inventory. We have to favorite some of these things so I can have access to them quickly. <laughs> Fragmentation grenade. Um, this has been favorited. This has not been favorited. Let's put him there. Uh, double barrel shotgun has been favorited. Where is he? Is that... Nope. Where's the double barrel shotgun? Oh, up above there. Okay, that's my... Da, 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 da. There's that. Uh, let's do... Tactical powerful favorited compensated hardened submachine gun. Let's favorite that one. We'll put that right there. Okay, so we've got my... Sniper rifle there, backup pistol there, melee on the right, and these are my main weapons that I would like to use most of the time. So this is mid-range, and then close range with the double barrel shotgun. We got my grenades there, so that works. Happy with that. Uh, might as well put the flare gun on there too. I'll put that kind of as something that I'm not going to access very often, I'm sure. So there we go. Let's see what we've got. We're armed with this. Let me check the scope out. That is long range, people. Let's see if we look at the tip of this. That should work. And then we've got the double barrel shotgun. And we've got the 10 millimeter pistol. And we've got our compensated hardened submachine gun with a nice reflex sight on there. Ooh. Don't have a lot of rounds for this, unfortunately. Uh, the one thing I do have a lot of rounds for. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't. I only have 544? What was I thinking? Oh, it was a 38 that I had tons of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we've got sniper rifle again. So really, <laughs> my two main weapons, I hardly have any ammo for. So that's a problem. We're going to have to deal with that, try to find some traders, do a little selling and buying. So this fires... Do, 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 do. That fires 45. So I need a lot of 45. Need to get me some of that. Alrighty, well that's fun. Um, again, just a shorter episode here. We've done a lot of fighting, a lot of mission-based stuff recently, so I just thought we'd do a couple quick episodes. I did the armor episode previously, and now this weapon mod episode. Obviously didn't get too, you know, crazily involved in it because I don't have all the perks necessary to really get the really high upgrades. But, uh, yeah, I think that was pretty interesting. Maybe we will delve into a little bit of settlement building next time. Not faux show on that. I do want to kind of build up a nice farming area here for these people. Maybe get some sort of warehouse or something built here for all my... I, I don't like this area here. I want to have more room for power armor for all the different workbenches and stuff. So maybe, maybe we'll get into that. Maybe we'll just wander around again, get into some missions and stuff. But there's always going to be something to do. It's always going to be exciting. It's always going to be fun. And as always, I thank you for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things Plays Fallout 4. Good day.